Welcome to another reaction first and watching commentary of season one, episode three of Has Been Hotel, Scrambled Eggs. Fried chicken fetuses! What's up, my dark cries? Coming up from episode two, Radio Killed the Video Star. Very fun episode, really love to see beef <laughs> between a radio and video. Very curious, most of all, what's the connection between Lilith and Alistor? Something happened seven years ago, so let's get into it. And if you can and want, join now to become a YouTube member or support in Patreon. I have a dream. I wish to tell. <laughs> Perfect opening shot. <laughs> That's so sweet from Charlie. Aww. Sir Pengis is staying at the hotel. <laughs> She's such a sweetheart. How can you not love her? Just trying to take over the city with his weird steampunk bullshit a few days ago. Weird steampunk bullshit. <laughs> is that what we're call calling box technology now? Oh, well, no. Sir Pengis technology with a war machine. The skin player. 11,000. I'm really looking forward to shooting the other red. <laughs> what? Why? Uh, we thought we were in your path to forgiveness. Planning to kill me, but when? How? I must be prepared. Sign, please. Carmine said. Mm, thank that's... you for your business. <laughs> I love the designs of these characters. Carmilla, Carmine, you are buying parts from an overlord? Uh, oh. Of course, she's the top weapons dealer in hell. Beth has a connection as well with Velvet and Vox and Valentina. People are being nice because they want you to feel welcome. <laughs> <laughs> mood, mood. <laughs> <laughs> That's her way of saying this, no. <laughs> Just pure insanity. You have to trust us. But I don't. Why don't we focus on that for today's activities? A new song. <laughs> no more plotting against other guests, and you need to get rid of these things. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! What did I just say? What? Not my little egg boys. They do what they were bidding for. <laughs> you don't even care about them. Can't believe they're eggs still. No more eggs. All right, eggies. <laughs> I can't keep you anymore. Okay, boss. No, don't resist. <sighs> Absolutely heartbreaking. How it has to be. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> love how they make it so lovable with those eyes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Even Johnny wasn't comfortable with that. Let's see what. Alistair. He's eating a deer. <laughs> what? I hope they talk more about this. What happened to? I mean, more in depth. I'm in the middle of breakfast. Pentius's eggs are all over the place, and I need you to get rid of them humanely. Hmm. That's a lot less hot. <laughs> I'm so scared about what he's planning. That looks disgusting. Oh yeah. Poor deer. I can't believe there are animals in hell. <laughs> now that I think about it. This group could really benefit from... Chest exercises! Chest exercises! <laughs> Back in joints, but skeptically. I may be overanalyzing, but I love the way the glass breaks Charlie's enthusiasm, like glass falling apart when Baggy says... Chest exercises! Chest exercises! Like building up the theme of lack of coordination and communication in this episode. Okay, back to reaction. We're doing trust exercises. What's with the whole, uh, this? Trusting 101. <laughs> that is a class that would be very helpful for, you know, mental health and all as well. I thought maybe you could take the lead oh. on this one. I trust everyone, so maybe you'd know better about how to build it properly. Oh, but Vaggy barely trusts anyone, just Charlie. Well, if I'm qualified. <laughs> It'll be easy. I'm sure you can handle this. Oh. Yeah. Um, sure, I can handle this. No problem. <laughs> Motivation. All right, so we are starting with trust balls. Like military. You are going to share something vulnerable with the group about yourself and then fall backwards while the rest of the group catches you. What was that sound? Was that a duck? Oh, me, 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 me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, get on up here. I love you guys. Like, really? <laughs> really? Love you. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done that? Like going like that? That is terrifying. I remember doing that like in sixth grade. They scared me a, a lot. Well, how about this? I love to suck. <laughs> 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 
Of course, oh yeah, popsicles of all the things you had in mind. But you know, dicks too. <laughs> of course. Harder, Daddy. <laughs> You're up. I <laughs> don't want to live without my minions. To be or not to be. Nobody catch me. <laughs> Damn it. That's great. <laughs> so theatrical, I can't. <laughs> Sometimes I kill mother bugs in front of their children no, as no, a no, warning. No, 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 Um, uh, a good... <laughs> that, has, that has to be a meme now. <laughs> nifty, Nifty. Oh my god, I'm so... What is the backstory of Nifty? <laughs> Look in the background, now they're drawn. I got this, okay? I'll figure something out. If you're in the market for some ideas, <laughs> get just a thing for some terrest building. <sighs> I can just suck, they're like sick of this. I was not going to say suck a dick, okay? No. Are those your ears or is it your hair? I can't tell. <laughs> I was just vibing with it. How fair be this day? Synchronizing. Oh, ooh, ooh, new character. With drama. This guy appeared in the intro of the pilot. I remember. With Lucifer in the background. Uh, the weather will not become the sign. Wow, I love the sound design of the voice. <laughs> we might have some acid rain this afternoon. Oh! If I locked up hold. <laughs> Burning is so like the Happy Day Hell song. It has been ages since thou hast graced us with thy presence. I have spun wild tales of you falling to holy arms. Ooh. Just took a well-earned sabbatical, nothing serious. Though it's fun to keep everyone on their toes. <laughs> You're escaping something. Involvement with the princess and her flight of fancy. Tell me, how does thou fall in such folly? Wow. I'm completely entranced right now. Please, do guess. I'd love to know the theories. <laughs> Thou hast been not with an enigma since thy manifested in this realm. Love how this guy speaks. It's like coming out of Shakespeare or something. Thou and I. <laughs> the eggs are so silly. <laughs> Every time Mother Fox is around. I have a very important task for you. Stay here and guard the front until I return. <laughs> of, of course, the yeah, Trust 101. Frank is up <laughs> No. We have names? <laughs> I bet one of them is called like Larry or something. <laughs> Has to be, or Robert. Oh god, you're gonna be a scrambled egg in no time, right? I, I fear for your life, Frank. <laughs> it's hilarious that we're actually following the guy's point, the, the egg's point of view. Yeah, that's terrifying. Welcome, Hell Sovereign Overlords. Ooh, okay, it's an Overlord reunion. You represent the controlling powers of our city. Together, you own millions of souls. <laughs> so good to see you, my friend. Enchanted as always, Camilla. Oh, this is Camilla. Okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I've been absent some time. I'm sure you've all been wondering. Why seven years? That's my question. This year's extermination was brutal. <laughs> Far more brutal. even than years past. Everybody has some kind of Spanish in their in their language. <gasps> I think it prudent. Yes, I've got it handled, box. Are you doubting me? Velvet, right? Freaking Meryl Streep, but in hell. <laughs> From the Devil Wears Prada. Colleagues be joining? No, they have better shit to do than to listen to an old windbag who thinks she's tough shit. <laughs> the roar. Charming. <laughs> we will all land that with our minds with someone. On the subject of discussion. Ooh. Oh, tasty. Yeah. <laughs> tasty. <laughs> Alistair, is Alistair behind this? The boys and I have come up with a full assault plan. I love the designs of these two characters. <laughs> you really had to call your attention like that. If it be true the and thy colleagues desire to war with such meager proof. <gasps> you going blind, old man? We know not how this perish. If we rush to war without knowing mightn't, they purge all of hell for daring and uprising. Stabilizing. I would love just a show of this guy. Like, just... I love it. The atmosphere he adds. Guess there's no point, right? Hmm. 
Oh, what's the matter, fossil? <laughs> Too senile to make a real power grab? You oh. better show some respect. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the freaking that was so freak that's loud that intro <laughs> oh god the guitar you've got it twisted i'm not the one who needs a new attitude i love how the beats the rhythms of the song like match the character so well oh Damn! I suddenly want the first dance. <laughs> it's like also what we saw with Vox. Oh! <laughs> Even he was like kind of warm with that. Oh god! I fucking love this song. Oh god, yes. Oh, I love the editing of this. Like, how it's all put together. <laughs> what a bop of a song. That was a productive meeting. <laughs> He has the best one-liners, Alistair, I swear. I cannot stop grinning. We literally just got here. Mother? Oh. Drama. Mother. <laughs> I'm surprised you weren't crushed or something. Yet. I have a job for you. Oh. Yes, boss. <laughs> Follow them. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what? What the fuck? No activity requires more trust than BDSM. <laughs> Angel dust. No bond stronger than those formed through bondage. Goodbye. Uh, Angel dust, you're taking it too far. No, 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 no. <laughs> Love the enthusiasm, but um. Uh, hmm. <laughs> oh my God, husk. No, I, I don't hate this. <laughs> I'm a seuss. I'm punish some bad boys. <laughs> no! Nifty, nifty, oh my god, no. Nifty, uh... <laughs> Never mind, I, I'm out. <laughs> no, nifty with that? Uh, I'm afraid of you. <laughs> I told you you could trust me, and I'm not gonna let you down. Just need to teach them the way I was taught. Oh. War, of course. Baby! <laughs> Nothing stronger than the trust between comrades and <laughs> Buckle up, buttercups, because today you boys become men. <laughs> <laughs> I, I should have known that she would be the most violent and bloodthirsty of them all. Survive together! Oh Our my god, four serpents just... No, I just... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Nifty. I, I bet Nifty would kill them all. This is the only way they'll learn, Charlie. No, it's not. There are other ways. It just takes time. Yeah, how is this going to let them be redeemed? You know, all that stage. How many times will we have to watch your people be killed before we make headway? Uh, faggy. <sighs> no. I'm supposed to make your dreams a reality. I'm supposed to protect you. I'm supposed to never fail you. I blame you for this, you crazy bitch. You didn't fail me. Oh god, no, Vaggy, the whole burden she has in her mind. Vaggy, you're not you're not oh, I can't help no. you. What's the point of me? No, no. You do so much. It's I'm sorry, I'd I'd like to be alone for a minute. Are you for real? No, no. You make your dreams a reality, like <sighs> <Made it. laughs> Let's go home, guys. No, fuck this. I don't want to fight between them. I don't want to fight between Baggy uh -huh. and Charlie. <laughs> oh. Okay, this kind of visual kind of reminds me of Catra and Adora in one point of the show. Mm. Especially Catra, you know. Ay, que Losing my composure is unlike thee. <laughs> it's nothing is there still really. Hmm. Supposed to be the controlled one. It was by thy hand, was it not? Let's not talk about it. Mom. Maybe he should know. Nobody should know. Boop. B. 
Billy es solo. I am not discussing this. What weighs on your soul, oh, wow. my old friend? Your song? You have a song now? <laughs> Why not let your strength be known? Damn, like, this time is like elegant song. To cross that line and keep them safe. The guitar really is a part of her personality. It's really, it matches her, you know? It's more contemplative. Oh, Rocky, yes, let's go! Wow. Ooh. Oh, the way this is all connected with so many themes and events that, that are happening. I'll talk about that. Oh, no! her place like in the first episode oh. oh, I fucking love this the mistakes yes of course that's a whole theme system malfunction wait Wait, 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 wait. Are they actually family? Is that what the visuals are trying to imply as well? I fucking love these songs. They are, wow, look at that visual of, was that like heaven as well there? Wow, I'm blown away. Oh, oh, I love Dorbin. <laughs> the old guy well, was all, you're not yourself. <laughs> you're the one that killed the angel. And, 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 and the <laughs> shoe was all, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> the little twin. She killed the angel? Interesting. Let's keep uh, this between us. Is that? <laughs> No, I don't think it's that simple. No, they're misdirecting something. Ooh. I'm sorry. I put pressure on you. We work as a team. We'll figure it out together. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Communication is key. Look what your exercise did for them. <laughs> they're bonding now, for real. <laughs> I would have loved to see like a bit of the fight that they were in. <laughs> At least you can take a beating like a champ. You did okay, Luke. Really? <laughs> oh, <laughs> he feels accepted. He feels like part of the group. Thank you for pulling me out of this. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I really would like Serpent just to stay in the group. <laughs> yeah, Nifty is uh, something else. <laughs> Alistair! Yes, well, the little monsters prove to be rather useful. What the fuck are you planning, dude? Give him back to Pentius. Really? <laughs> but seriously, no more weapons. <laughs> <laughs> you... Oh, it's so good to have you back. <laughs> Did I actually miss him? It starts with sorry. Go clean my quarters this instant! Come on. Be more respectful to your eggs. I would have never thought that. Or would it be a sentence I would say? And the knife lady killed an angel! Not supposed to talk about it! So sure, and maybe you'll meet Martians tomorrow. Good night, Piggy! <laughs> so cute! Aww. I have a lot of questions, but this was a great episode. I really love this. It was so entertaining, and I love to see more character, like dramatic moments with Vaggy. Especially, Alistor is really guarding something else. This overlord drama that is building up is happening with Carmilla. It's also a parallel to Charlie and Vaggy in the sense of like building trust, accepting like making mistakes. Oh, let's talk about it. Hola, mi amor, linda, preciosa.
So that was episode three, Scrambled Eggs of season one of Hasman Hotel. And I had a blast, complete blast with this episode. A lot of fun, banger songs and a reveal, really. I want to go more in depth and I've been thinking about it. I just got some cup of tea to, you know, <laughs> let my thoughts really sink in, you know. So Carmilla is the one that killed that exorcist, that exterminator. At first, I'm not going to lie, I was kind of underwhelmed because it was a character that we just met five minutes ago it just made a little bit more sense in my mind that it would be something along the lines of alistor himself or lilith or an angel a traitor so to have it be an overlord just revealing that information two episodes later at first it was kind of like huh uh, really we're we're revealing that just right now but now more than i think about it to be honest maybe the point really is not the reveal the show is not trying to do that it's not trying to be a murder mystery it's much more about alistor's plan it's much more about what does alistor plan to do with this information that actually now that i think about it excites me more than the idea of dragging a murder mystery kind of plot in this show just saying it right now i was underwhelmed on first time watch but now that i just uh took my cup of tea and rewatched those scenes paid more attention to you know really the direction of the episode maybe they're building up really alistor's big plan whatever he wants to do that just might be really exciting and chaotic for everyone involved so yeah so there you have it they're building up alistor to be a big deal a bigger deal than it already than he already is you know speaking about carmilla i freaking loved the songs of her like she had two songs basically with velvet it was so much fun i love the beef they get like i love how much they're having fun with these songs very much reminded me of the beef between vox and alistor but this time on a much smaller scale and you know with i don't know i love the way they changed like the beats and the lyrics when one and the other sang it was it was beautiful it was so so entertaining really want to watch more of these power structures in hell how they're working it was so interesting last episode to see kind of like this mob kind of dynamic between valentino and vox working together and also velvet over here we're dealing with overlords of hell alistor is also involved there so it's really exciting to see like the bigger picture of this show it's not only about charlie's dream with hasman hotel there are much bigger problems at stake the conflict is much bigger than redeeming souls really really excited to see how ambitious the story is getting the second song really really curious about the possible connection between Baggy and Carmilla. Even though they were sharing a very similar experience at that moment, it was very particular, very, I think very intentional. The way they directed that song, it really seemed like they were like calling out for each other. They were not really like trying to reach out one to the other. And maybe they're implying that they are real family actually that vaggy is a lost daughter or whatever to carmilla vaggy hasn't shared that information with charlie it really caught my eye how they directed that part of the episode it was beautiful to see how they captured that struggle visually it was amazing especially vaggy's part representing that that you know burden of trying to make the best out of charlie's desire trying to make charlie's dream a reality the figure of the mask you know we saw that in the first episode how in happy day in hell she was trying to reach out to charlie in one moment trying to be the voice of reason and over here she was just pouring her heart out trying to make the best out of the pressure that she was feeling from charlie to build that trust from the members of the has-been hotel it's beautiful it was beautiful to see how among the humor really like the really funny stuff in this episode there was a, some actual character drama involved particularly charlie and vaggy at one point the lines there it was so so amazing because vaggy said i'm supposed to make your dreams a reality i'm supposed to protect you i'm supposed to never fail you what is she doing for herself that's what i was thinking of while i was watching the episode and she was thinking like she was just making mistakes and she felt like she was failing charlie it was beautiful also to see like the last part of the episode i really want them to stay together really want them to be a team that's what that's ever since the beginning really so beautiful to see those parallels with Carmilla's burden that hasn't been explored yet with how was that relationship with her daughters i'm very curious to see how they're going to explore that because you know carmilla also even though she was doing it to to 
protect she may have done a mistake there and that could lead to a bigger bigger conflict love to see those thematic connections i love the stuff with trusting 101 that class was hilarious baggies you know military kind of approach to the situation was hilarious i would have loved to see just a little bit of what the hell was the dynamic in the fight <laughs> between each of the serpentures and nifty would have been so funny but even just them talking about it and bonding at the end was very satisfying i would i really would love to serpentious to stay here because i feel like he could be the the first example of a soul properly redeemed even if, it, if it's humorous i think it's a character that with how goofy he is and how lovable he's becoming it can really work for the story it's just such a joy such a joy so far and i love how much fun they're having with the eggs that was so funny what names do you have in mind for the other eggs i, I bet one of them is larry or robert also zestio what an amazing presence so unique so original the way just the way he speaks the thou and the thy that scene with alistor was so captivating just love to see new personalities in the show real highlight for me was super excited to see him singing love this episode the more i think about it the more i love it the songs the character drama the humor and the mystery around whatever alistor is planning in his head really really excited to see what's coming next so thank you so much for watching really hope you enjoyed this video this reaction please tell me in the comments what you think about this episode your favorite part of the, about this episode what's your favorite song and if you can and want join now to become a youtube member or support in patreon we'll see each other in the next one see ya bye